Today we're checking out the Rocket Siphon. This is a three blade mechanical with a one and three quarter inch cutting diameter. It says on the back here that it has bone crushing power and superior performance with razor sharp 0 0.035 thickness stainless steel blades. I don't care about any of that. I like the one and three quarter inch cutting diameter, but what I like the most is the closing system they use. It looks as like it looks as though they use the same system as NAP does, where it's got like a little lever on the inside that kind of pins the blades down, and that's how it holds it close and open, which to me is a good thing. I am interested to see how these do. Price point, you're looking right around the $39.99 for a three pack. Well, right there's your entry on leather. Didn't open up at all. So the rocket did open up in the gel. It's tough to see. You can kind of see there, blade, blade, blade. Um, up top, see that area that's kind of hazy? Like right there's an edge, up top it's really clear. That's your wound channel. So it's a three blade wound channel from a mech. 100% got deflection. I'll show you how I can tell. You see how this is longer than this one or this one? That blade started to open up. I was aiming just a little hair back from that. Also, if you come over to the other side, stuck in another target out back there. Missed my big shot completely. 100% deflection. Is that one. And it wasn't open, so the blades are in perfect shape. Uh, that's the downside of the over-the-top mechs, man, is they don't always open. You don't always get a big entry hole. I'd say it's a 50-50 shot. So the Rocket Siphon. Upon further inspection, I do have one of the blades that's just got the slightest curvature to it. Uh, and that was kind of a concern for mine from the word go. You know, the thin blades are just, they make me nervous. And I, I get that's kind of part of the course with mechanicals, but these particularly, just the way they're designed, I'm not a fan. Uh, you know, 275 out of the package is not the dullest thing in the world. It's not the sharpest either. I, I don't hate it. I don't love it. And 375 has pretty solid edge retention, better than I would have expected. Uh, what concerns me the most of the whole test though is deflection. This broadhead deflected hard. Just means if you're gonna shoot this, make sure you're shooting broadside shots or very slightly quartering. Anytime they get seriously quartering, I would say this is a risk to try to shoot at an animal and I would absolutely not recommend it. You know, overall, not a bad broadhead. I just think there's, you know, in the same price range, there's other options that are gonna be better for you.